Welcome Geminis and thank you for being here today. This is your monthly love message for the month of January 2022. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the month ahead. So for the Geminis that I am reading for or picking up uh, this month, um, your channeled message that came through whilst I was meditating well there's your first card uh the your message that was coming through is that um you're being guided it is it, almost as if uh, you're being guided to kind of wait wait to be uh, kind of assertive of what it is you want with this person um but also to just wait don't rush in it's like you're being guided to wait until the right moment to basically uh, almost like speak speak your truth, be assertive and be really clear of what is it you want, okay? You are, there is a lot of passion around you and this person that um, uh, you're connecting with. Uh, and I do feel that it's like you're being guided to wait, wait until things unfold naturally, then be assertive of what is it you want from this connection. Um I feel that you're also being guided. You, I, I, they were giving me a feather, so look out for any signs or synchronicities. For some of you, it might be an actual feather. Um, but have a have a look out for any signs or synchronicities or any kind of objects, okay, um, that may be significant. I don't know. They're giving me a button, um, a feather, a button, something, something that um, will, uh, that you associate with your person. Or it's, it's something that you may even associate with your spirit team. I know for me personally, I associate when I see feathers, I know that my angels are around me, my spirit team are around me. Um, so whether it's an object or um, something like a feather, okay, uh, that you associate with your spirit team or with your person, look out for those signs and synchronicities because I feel like you're going to find something or you're going to see something Basically, that's letting you know that A, your person is thinking about you and B, uh, your spirit team are around you, okay? Uh, whoever you are um, <coughs> connecting with Geminis, I am picking up, um, sorry, let me just get some water. Okay, so Gemini, sorry about that. Um, so let's have a look and see what your crowning uh, message is. So I should have left um, on me telling you that your person is manifesting uh, to build a, a home, to build something, um, whether it's with you or to just build a home um, that is for themselves. But it's as if they want something that's very grounded, very balanced, um, very nurturing, just like a normal like a normal home, you know, doing your bits and day-to-day -day chores, uh, working, you know, just tending to the house, um, something that is really great, something that basically they can depend upon, okay? Aha, so you're being guided to trust, trust your spirit team. That explains why your channeled message was giving me um, that symbol of a feather because I associate anytime I see a feather, I always associate that as my angels or my spirit team around me. So they're giving me that sign because I recognize that sign. So you're being guided to trust divine spirit universe with this connection. Yeah. Uh, wait, wait for them to wait for divine timing, wait for things to unfold in its, in its natural way because divine timing is always perfect. But when the opportunity comes around, um, for this person to be around you, talk to you, whatever it is, uh, I feel as if you are uh, being guided to then be assertive. So it almost feels as if uh, you and this person aren't quite together. It's kind of like you're not sure what is happening. And many of you may want to reach out to this person, okay? But I feel that there's a lot of a passion around you. Whether or not they're expressing that, I feel that they are feeling it, okay? They they are definitely feeling it, all right? So trust, trust your spirit team. Um, all will be well. They will um, guide you. They will guide you. 
and I feel that they are guiding you right now. Okay, let's have a look at your crowning wisdom message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning wisdom message to the question, how does the soulmates of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love for the month of January 2022? What is their current energy? Spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Gemini that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all. As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. Should come out. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you tell me your... Thank you. Wow. Look at that. Didn't I tell you, this person is thinking about you. Whoever you're connecting with, Geminis, male or female, this person is thinking about you. Ah, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Yeah. That's why your team, again, are saying trust them. All is well. Uh, this could be for Geminis that are with their person, um, that there's been a bit of a, a breakup or an argument, a bit of difference of opinions. For many of you, if you are in a full-blown breakup and you want reconciliation and you don't know how your person feels about you, um, I feel as if, if you ground yourself, uh, look deep within your heart, you will feel their love for you. And I feel that that's that passion that I was feeling um, in the channel's message for you, uh, Geminis. Yeah. So if this message so far is resonating for you, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push the video out to other Geminis. It also enables you to get those notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. And also it does help to support the channel. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. It existing subscribers welcome welcome back thank you for all of your support and compliment donations it's really appreciated and i really do hope that you all get a useful and meaningful message out of this month's reading let's get into your main love message because i feel that this is quite um it feels quite uh obvious in terms of just trust that divine spirit universe has got your backs gemini i feel that this person does love you i was picking up there's a lot of passion around you but you're being guided to wait it's like almost wait for you to get that sign or synchronicity for when it's time to be assertive to come forward speak your truth so to speak of what it is you want with this person but I definitely feel that they are manifesting you back uh, whether or not you have been in a small argument with this person or full-blown breakup um, because they want to build something they want to build something I feel like it's with you it could be that they want to build something for themselves but they want a stable grounded reliable home okay all right my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me how does these soulmates of gemini sun moon rising and venus feel towards them in love for the month of january 2022 what is their current energy spiritually emotionally mentally and physically towards gemini that i'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all As above, so below, and all around me. Thank you. Geminis, any of the cards that jumped out in your pre-shuffle um, whilst meditating for this reading, um, if they come out on camera, I will call them out for you. All right, let's see what comes out. Thank you. Oh, wow. Well, this person is coming towards you with the Six of Wands, which is victory. They know that you are the one for them, okay? They may have a lot of people interested in them, okay? But I feel as if they are only carrying one wand, which has that reef. So they do see you as long-term commitment marriage, okay? So your crowning wisdom message, if you're unsure if this person, how they feel about you, uh, I feel that they uh, see you as the real deal, they see victory with you, all right? That's why you're being guided. Trust, divine, spirit, universe, okay? Um, 
I feel that this person is going to come back. I, this feels like a reconciliation. Thank you. I feel that this person is um, definitely um, over analyzing conversations, um, communication with you, almost going through a fine tooth comb with some of the discussions that you've had, almost like in that mental torture. OK, but they do see victory with you, but they are really, really thinking about this connection. So, like I said, for some of you that are in existing relationships with this person, you guys may have had um, like a big argument or something. This person is really thinking about it. They know that they are victorious with you. They see you as long term commitment marriage. Um, oh, Did someone walk out the door? So you're feeling burdened with the Ten of Wands and with the Eight of Cups, somebody walked out the door or you both walked away from each other. But this person feels victorious with you, very much analysing if it was an argument. I mean, I just use that as an example, but if it was for those of you that are in a relationship with this person, if you had a bit of a tete-a-tete -tete and they just basically walked out the door and just, yeah, just, just walked out the door, they, they're going to come back because they ultimately they see you as long-term commitment marriage. Many of you may already be married to this person. For you guys, Geminis, it feels as if you're quite burdened by the fact that they walked out, you may have had to walk out as well. Or if this is a full blown breakup, okay, and you do want reconciliation, um, it feels as if both of you walked away from the connection and many of you wanna put down that burden and go towards them and resolve this. You want reconciliation, but you may not be sure. Thank you. Yeah, look at that. With the uh, seven of wands, you wanna fight for this connection big time. Big time, but I feel that you may not be moving forward because you don't know how they feel because they may have walked away from you. If you look deep in your heart, you will feel their love for you, all right? Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Yeah, many of you, I feel that you, you the, the time, um, it'll probably be in the latter part of January, January to assert yourself to fight for this connection. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me? Thank you. So we have, oh, wow, the death card. So this person, I feel as if they uh, they do want a, a rebirth of this connection. This is all about transformation, uh, changing their view. So if they did walk out, I feel as if they are thinking about that, <coughs> thinking about why they walked out, an argument, Poor communication, bad communication. Maybe they blocked you. Um, you know, there was some sort of silent treatment. They're thinking about all of it. And I feel that they want a rebirth. They want a rebirth. They've gone through a bit of a transformation. Okay. And they feel victorious. They feel victorious with a rebirth, a reconciliation with you. This person has changed their mind. Yeah. Uh, you also could be dealing with a Scorpio or you could have Scorpio in your chart. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you tell me? Do you know what they're saying to me? There's a lot of wands here. A lot of wands. We've got the uh, six of wands, the ten of wands, the seven of wands. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's a lot of uh, uh, cups and water here. OK, so you could be dealing with uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And I mean, we've got swords, but there's not a lot of swords here. Um, but you could, I mean, swords represent uh, you, uh, Gemini, uh, but it could be any of the air signs, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. But I would definitely call out with the amount of the water here and the wands, uh, there could be fire in their chart, uh, heavy water in their chart as well, or your chart as well. OK. Thank you. Uh -huh. So I feel yeah, there's a lot. OK, there's a lot of swords. So Gemini, uh, we've got. Um, yeah. So we've got pretty much all of you coming out. All of the we haven't got any pentacles yet. There we go. Page of pentacles. <laughs> um, 
Okay, so I feel as if um, there's definitely been some sort of silent treatment between the two of you. Really, really bad communication, poor communication, minimal communication. It definitely has felt like a battle for this person, but they were heartbroken. They may have been like giving it large, like it didn't really matter yeah um but i've like really quite front in it like really brave um but actually uh they were wearing that heartache they've been wearing this heartache of how things went down between the two of you and i feel that they're going through a transformation they want something to change they 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 want a rebirth i feel that whoever walked away uh wants to talk uh if you walked away i feel they want to talk to you you want to talk they're talking both of you, whoever walked away, um, I feel that um, they want to talk. So it feels as if, it feels as if it's this person that walked away from you because you're the one that's carrying the burden. You, it's like you want to put down that burden, fight for the connection and move forward towards this person. And I feel that they do want to talk to you. They want to have a serious conversation. But I feel that you would also welcome a serious conversation with this person as well. Almost to ask them why they walked away. Why communication was so rubbish with them. But notice the high priestess here. Many of you are being guided to trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. Many of you may want to rush in um, and... Um, almost have that conversation, like assert yourself to have that conversation to fight for the connection. I feel that you're being guided to wait, use your intuition and wait for them to come towards you. Don't rush it, don't rush this process. And I feel that with that high priestess, your spirit team, they will give you a clue when it's ready, when you're ready to put down that burden and go towards this um, person and as uh, use your assertiveness to fight for the connection and that may be through a conversation that you have with this person not like um like a uh what's it a a, conf a confrontational um uh communication or conversation it's more like that way is where you're going to have the opportunity maybe to understand why they walked away so abruptly because it does feel quite abrupt with the amount of swords here uh why they went silent on you okay uh i feel that that is where you can really ask um the hard questions that you may not have had the opportunity to ask OK, so whether or not you both end up walking away from each other, at least you will have some closure. And that's where I feel that you're fighting you. It's like you're you want to fight for the connection. But also, I feel like many of you also want to know why this person walked away. And you will get the opportunity. Just don't force it, basically. Oh, this card wanted to come out ah oh, that's why with the six of cups um you're missing them <laughs> you're missing them the six of cups represents that the two of you have lived many 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 lives together uh, and there's a sense of nostalgia here okay because the connection is quite deep okay because uh, you've lived many lives together uh, and i feel that you're missing them yeah, you're, you're missing this person. That's why you want to fight. That's why you want to put down that burden quick, quick and just head in their direction and have that conversation. But you're being guided to wait. I feel that there's a bit of a process in place here with this person. Yeah. A process of healing, understanding, transformation. Yeah. Uh, the strength cards. So this person, uh, you could be dealing with um, a Leo. OK, but it's going it, to I feel as if it's taken them a lot of strength and courage to even come to a state of uh, transformation of even entertaining a, a rebirth, a reconciliation. Get into that place where they feel comfortable that, yeah, they're going to be victorious with you. It's taken them a lot of strength and courage. And that's why I feel that you're being guided, particularly from your channeled message. Don't rush it. Just don't rush it. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guide, thank you. I feel that this person knows that there was a lot of work that went into this uh, into this connection. They may feel with that wandering um, pentacle that you were the one that got away. 
yeah and it feels as if it's taken them a lot of strength and courage because they may have said some some cutting things like i said this person kind of fronting it if you know what i mean a bit of a battle uh maybe silent treatment you know uh just for the sake of it uh, and I feel that they are really analysing, really analysing their behaviour of silent treatment, saying some cutting things, um, being a poor communicator or, you know, not a great communicator. OK, uh, they're really analysing all of that. And I feel that they are really looking at the work that has been put into this connection. And I feel that they do want to put the work in, but they're kind of looking back and they're waiting, almost waiting to reap the rewards of um, the work that has been been put in hoping that if you are the one that's that's got away that that you're still gonna have they're still gonna have victory with you because it's like the two of you have got history if that makes sense to put it into context uh it's like a lot of work has been put in and they're kind of like waiting hoping that the history between the two of you is enough to kind of yeah get you back so that they have that victory with you thank you I don't know whether that came out in reverse, but um, it, it came up in my hand. It fell on the corner here, so you didn't see it. Um, the chariot, um, so you could be dealing with um, a, a Cancerian or you could have cancer in your chart. But the, ca the chariot is all about, um, so face up, uh, Gemini's. OK, this is about somebody uh, recovering over uh, deep healing. Yeah recovering gone through some deep healing and coming into uh bit, sorry let me repeat the chariot means that somebody has done some deep healing and they've come out victorious with it in reverse means that they are still in recovery and i'll tell you why i'm getting a little bit tongue-tied here because i've just done the cancerian reading and this is the major arcana for cancer OK, and this card came up right in the centre of their reading in reverse. Now, that is not a coincidence that the chariot card has come out reverse in your reading. And Gemini, you came out right at the end of the Cancerian reading and this reverse chariot has come out in your reading. So if you've got cancer in your chart or your person has got cancer in their chart, uh, then I feel that this message is particularly for you. So this person hasn't really recovered over what happens between the two of you. They still feel victorious with you, hoping that the history that you've got together is enough to kind of bring you back, if that makes sense. But this person hasn't recovered over what went down. Oh my gosh, and the justice card. This person wants to reconcile with you. Yeah, they want to balance things out. Uh, you could be dealing with the Libra, uh, you could have Libra in your chart, but they definitely want to balance something out. I feel that many of you, uh, they there may be a soul contract. How they're going to balance that out? Swift communications coming into you for the month of January. And hence, didn't I say that they want to talk to you? OK, you also want to talk to this person. This is just echoing. It's them that walked away. And I feel there is the communication coming straight towards you. Serious conversation. Um, and it's it's to do because they walked away and it's because they want to reconcile. But I feel that this is going to give you a brilliant opportunity, uh, Gemini's, to get, like I say, get to the root cause of why they walked away. And why they went silent on you, gave you that silent treatment. And, oh, look at that. <coughs> Queen of Cups. How beautiful. So uh, the Geminis that I'm reading for, male or female, you've got a lot of love for this person. And I feel that you will fight for this connection. And when you do engage in conversations, I feel that many of you are going to do it in a very, very loving way. A very loving way. Thank you. Yeah, and the uh, King of uh, Swords, I feel that that's your energy. And I feel, sorry, the King of Wands is your energy as well. So 
not only are you so basically you're going to be bringing in both your divine feminine and divine masculine energy into this conversation that you're going to have with this person so i feel that you're going to take action there's passion there's again a lot of passion around you yeah that passion is coming up it was in your channeled message and it's very much echoing on your side i feel that you the passion and the fire in your belly to put down that burden and reconcile with this person get back together get things back on an even keel it's like you're itching to go but remember your channel's message it's saying wait don't rush into it i feel they're guiding you to let you know let them make the first step towards you because they're the ones that they're the ones that walked away. So therefore, it's only just and right that they take that step towards you. You're going to take action, okay, when they uh, respond, uh, come in and communicate with you. You're going to take action and you're going to reciprocate, okay? This is the time, remember I said, when they come towards you, that's the time for you to be assertive, to ask the real hard questions, but not in a aggressive or confrontational way. Many of you are going to do it in a very loving way, in a place from your heart that is filled with love, peace and kindness. And that's exactly the right energy. That's exactly, that's exactly, Gemini, what I was saying or trying to say. It's like you can get to the root cause of this, of why they walked away, get closure if that's what you need reconcile with the, that person but before because it really depends what this person is going to say to you and I almost feel as if um before you be assertive and really get the questions answered that you need answered um it's like you, you've got to uh do it with peace and love and kindness in your heart and many of you are going to do that so it's like I said, it's like you're going to be using both your divine feminine energy and your divine masculine energy to kind of, um, yeah, communicate with this person, but also get the root cause of what's why they walked away. Yeah, look at that. This person is your ten of cups. The reason why you're doing it, I feel in this way, why I feel uh, that this king and this queen, again, whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. It's the energy of the cards. Uh, the reason I feel that you're coming into this um, uh, Gemini's uh, with both your divine feminine and your divine masculine energy, the divine masculine energy within you, Gemini, is very, it feels the passion okay it's very action orientated it's almost like you're not gonna you're not gonna have the wool pulled over your eyes you, it's like you want the answers the divine masculine energy is all about logic it's all about irrational thinking it's getting answers you know two plus two equals four so don't tell me that two plus two equals five because that's not true that's that energy of that king of wands that's what you're bringing to the table you're not gonna let nobody pull the wool over your eyes but also as well because of the love that you have for this person your divine feminine energy is coming in to balance out your divine masculine because many of you may be a frustrated pessimistic um maybe even a little bit angry as to why this person walked out with no explanation no proper closure then to top it off they went silent on you so you were left in limbo for such a long time so it's almost as if your divine feminine is coming in to support your divine masculine energy within you to get the answers that you want but to do it in a way that is peaceful that is loving that is kind divine feminine energy is all about your emotions connecting with your emotions and I'll tell you why it's because um this person is your 10th cup your happiness this is the person that you want to um, build a future with have a family with they this person is definitely your 10th cup and so therefore it almost feels as if <laughs> It, they just say it, that's why your team is saying your spirit team is saying trust them when the time is right it's almost like they're going to guide you with the right amount of energy of your divine feminine and your divine masculine energy be assertive when you need to but with love and peace in your heart okay and i feel that that object or feather or button um is a sign that your spirit team are around you to when it's time to put the burden down, when it's time to fight for this connection, when it's time to be assertive, but in assertive in a way um, that is uh, loving and kind. Oh, I am so pleased. And there is the world card.
So the world card is, is letting us know that a cycle between the... So the world card is all about change, okay? So I feel that there is change coming, okay? The cycle that you and this person um, are, are going through has definitely... Uh, it's, it's about to close and a new cycle is opening. We've got uh, Taurus, Leo, uh, uh, Scorpio and Aquarius popping up here. So any of those signs could be in... Um, your chart or their chart the world card could also um sorry could it does represent that the two of you could be at a distance distance distant location wise um it could also represent you're in different locations so town city countries uh, across the globe from each other but it also could um uh, represent that the two of you were distant spiritually as well uh -huh. And then we have got the moon card. So you could be dealing with a Pisces or you could have Pisces in your chart. I'm telling you, there's a lot of fire and water coming out here. Um, so uh, this is the major arcana for Pisces. There's a little Scorpio here. So you could be dealing with Scorpio. Basically, you're, you yourself are also going from a transformation. I feel as if many of you are being enlightened to how you should deal with this connection so you can bring about change and the happiness and the future that you want for yourself with this person or on your own, okay? I feel many of you just want peace and you just want to be happy. Um, and I feel with the moon card, uh, if you were fearful of the connection, fearful of what you're going to say, fearful of what they're going to say. It, I feel that with these two energies here, it feels as this, I mean, this is your energy. Those two energies are yours. And it almost feels as if you're being empowered to uh, speak your truth with peace, love and kindness, but also to be nobody's fool, if that makes sense, either. OK, and so you're transforming from um, a place of where you may have feared conversations, been really anxious. Um, what you're going to say, what are they going to say? It's like you're moving from that energy and it's almost a basically you're taking back your power because you're being enlightened um, that you do have the power um, to ask the truth, to ask those hard questions. But you know that to do it in a way that is with peace, love and kindness in your heart, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't think so anyway. Okay. So I feel whoever you are connecting with, thank you. Uh, with the seven of coins, again, look at that. Uh, they, they know that you've put in a lot of work. They know that you've put in a lot of work, but the basket is empty. They may have felt that they put a lot of work into this connection as well, Gemini. And I feel as if, you know, uh, it's like you're the one that got away. The basket is empty. It didn't. Out of all the work, all the history that you guys have gone through, it's almost as if they didn't get the reward. They didn't reap the reward of the harvest of the seeds that was planted in this connection. And this image is looking at us now this time. Here, this person is looking at that lost coin, like, is have you got away? But in this seven of coins now, it's almost as if their image is looking at us like, I don't know what to do. Do I cut down this tree and completely move on or do I keep nurturing it? And that's you. That's you. Um, and I feel with that queen of coins, um, they see you as somebody that's long term commitment, marriage, somebody that they do want to build a future with. But they just don't know if the history between the two of you is enough. Do they continue building? OK. Or do they cut their losses? And I feel that that. Oh, look at that. That is the reason why they want to have the communication with you in January is almost to make that decision. Do they cut down that tree with you or do they continue building on your side? You are absolutely see this person as marriage material, long term commitment. For some of you, you may be married to this person already. Yeah, you may be married and you don't want this to you don't want the marriage to end. But you are heartbroken and disappointed how this went down. Because for many of you, I feel, I mean, your energy is right in the center of the reading. You see this, I mean, this person is thinking about you. Do they build that future? Many of you, they may see you holding back that pentacle, not really fully coming forward. But you see this person as long-term commitment marriage. Then walking away, totally devastated you really disappointed but notice those two cups standing there you guys are protected the connection is protected 
let's continue my angels and spirit guides of the divine thank you so this person with the do you know what i'm not even being funny if you are connecting with the cancerian uh check out the cancerian reading because this card came up this card came up almost cut well this card came up as a bonus card but this knight of swords came up very much in the um in 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 the same in the same area but it was i think it was them that knew that they said something cutting to you uh yeah they know that they uh, basically do you know i'm not even going to try and explain it to you uh but this card came up in the same uh roughly the same position i think it came down here for cancerians um and that was telling me so if i have to just rewind a little bit um uh, for the Cancerian reading, it was that, oh God, what was it? What was it? What was it? It's like uh, the person that was on this side, which technically would have, if this resonates, would have been you, Gemini, that they had said something very cutting to you, which broke your heart. What's very interesting is that this person is looking at um, the the work that has been put into this um uh, a, a connection and with the knight of swords they know that they've said something that was quite cutting to you that initiated silent treatment yeah they may have said they may have said something out of frustration out of fear out of anger whatever it is whatever it was but they know that they said something that was hurtful to you and that's why they're in this mental torture thinking about it a lot of swords over this person so it's almost like if there's anybody that is the rubbish, rubbish, there's not even a word, who's rubbish at communicating, it's this person. Yeah. So they know that they've said something cutting to you. They may have spoken their truth at the time. OK, um, but I feel that they are thinking, you know what, the history that you've got together, is it enough? Is it enough for a reconciliation? And I feel that that because they do want to reconcile and that is why they're coming in with the eight of wands to talk, have a serious conversation, back and forth conversation with you, because that's what they want to find out. Have they really lost you? Oh, my God, Gemini's. Do you know what? I cannot make this up. And there's your major arcana. I am telling you now, if you're dealing with the Cancerian, watch the Cancerian reading because gemini you came out right at the end of the cancerian reading and you know what you came out on their side and you're coming out on their side in this reading how uncanny is and uncanny is that so this person sees you as their ultimate uh twin flame ultimate soulmate that's you that's that's how they this is how they see you long-term commitment marriage um st stable reliable twin flame ultimate soulmate and that's why whatever they said to you it didn't sit right in their spirit that's why they are that's why they're flexing up like it didn't hurt them it did hurt them they're in this mental torture going through you know what the heck have they done saying whatever and that's why it's taken a lot of strength and courage for them to really just pull back take a breath and really check this connection for what it is and hence that's why they are seeing there needs to be a rebirth a reconciliation and that's why gemini your spirit team are saying trust don't rush into this just yet wait wait they will they will let you know when it's time to be assertive to bring in that king of wands energy to get the answers that you want but also to do it in a way that is is with peace and love that you have for this person and there's the communication eight of wands again where was the eight of wands here so they're coming towards you want in this communication you want communication as well you want to talk about this, like, is there any hope for this long-term commitment? Possibly marriage, because it feels as if the two of you have, um, you, you, you've been together for a while or you've known each other for a while. Thank you. Yeah, look at that. You want to build a future with this person. 
and that's why you're really disappointed. Oh my gosh. I can't even make this, I can't even talk right now. Um, so this person wants to build a future with you, okay? Sorry, you want to build a future with this person. You know that they have the key to build that future, to um, almost erase the heartache and disappointment. Look at the two bonus cards that have come out. And you know what is, again, really uncanny? Cancerian came out with the bonus cards. But do you know what? They came out with the Hierophant there and they came out with the Lover's card here. That's how it came out in Cancerian, in the Cancerian reading. And um, for you, uh, it's come out like that. So what I feel as if um, Divine Spirit Universe is saying for both of you is that the two of you have been divided, divinely guided into each other's life. Uh, many of you may have been married in past lifetimes and that marriage was successful. It was it was abundant, prosperous, victory, victorious. OK, so somewhere along the line on your soul journey, you guys may have picked up some karmic debts. And that's why this reconciliation has to happen in this lifetime, I feel. You could be dealing with a, a Taurus or a Leo or you could have Taurus or Leo in your chart. But I mean, those two cards together is really beautiful. And it, 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 look at that. It even echoes. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as an ocean. This person, if they are like putting on a bit of a front, let me tell you, trust your spirit team, Geminis. They love you. That love goes deep. And there you go. With the Queen of Wands, uh, I feel that this is your energy, male or female. I feel as if, um, sorry, my, my bad, my bad. This is their energy, male or female. I feel as if they want to take action towards you to have the communication to reconcile because they see you as their twin flame. But also, if you notice the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands that is here. So we've already said that the King of Wands is your energy, male or female. Uh, they see you as a divine counterpart. Notice how the two energies are facing each other now. You're coming into union. Or not, well, coming into union, but coming into union to have this conversation. This person is heartbroken over what's gone down between the two of you. Trying to rest that monkey mind. Again, more swords. I don't know whether or not this person, Gemini, was quite nasty with their words. Very, very cutting or very, very brutal or very, very cruel. Because there's a lot of swords on their side. A lot of swords. I mean, look at the angriness. Look at the anger of those eyes, of that eagle. And I feel as this person is reflecting on this, look at that. As this person is reflecting, really analysing this connection, that's why it's taken them a lot of strength and courage to go through and, 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 and reconcile and go through a rebirth, a transformation. It almost feels as if their communication to, with you, uh, communication to you was very, very, a little bit unrighteous, to be honest. You know that a conversation needs to be had. You want that communication. You know communication needs to be had. You know that talk needs to be had. But many of you uh, don't know how to have that conversation. Initiate it. Wait. Your spirit team is saying, wait. Let them come towards you. So this person is definitely in healing, but they're not fully healed because we saw the chariot in reverse. They're not fully recovered, but they're trying to. They're trying to make sense of this all. My goodness gracious me. Wow. All right. And oh, there we go. And I feel many of you are thinking about this person quite a lot. Wishing, hoping, dreaming. You don't want to let go of this person with the four of um, cups. Uh, wishing, hoping, dreaming of this future. Hoping that this disappointment, this upset would just like go away now. Yeah, just go away. You know, either come towards me correct or don't come towards me at all. And as I say that, this person is coming towards you to speak their truth. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. The four of coins. This person doesn't want to let you go, Geminis. They don't want to let you go. They're thinking about you all the time. And I think, to be honest with you, they're really they're really kind of clocking um, 
yeah, some of the communication with you, I feel wasn't too righteous. And whether or not uh, they had that reconciliation, like the two of you actually get back together, I feel as if they definitely know that they need to balance out something with you. And look at that. I can't make this up. I mean, the hierophant coming out again. I mean, I mean, I mean, come on, you know, two hierophants, marriage, long-term commitment, the four of wands, marriage, long-term commitment. It almost feels as if the two of you are destined to be together. And that's right at the center of your reading. Taurus is very strong coming in here as well, coming out twice in that with the hierophant. And the king of swords, yeah. I feel that... Um, Yeah, this person, this person cut you out. This king of swords is their energy. So they cut you out, okay? And look at one, two, three, it broke your heart. There's the disappointment and the heartbreak. Because you genuinely see this person's long-term commitment marriage. Many of you see success and victory with this person. I feel that this person is now um, seeing that as well. But they cut you out, but they're now open to talk. They're open to talk. Notice that sword isn't covering their chest. They're open to talk. But you're thinking, thinking about the things that they said to you. And look, one, two, three, so it, it broke your heart. And final cards. Oh, look. The page of pentacles. Oh, look at that. Oh, do you know what? This just feels like a blessing of a reading. Uh, so there's the page of pentacles, which we saw right here. Uh, this person is definitely coming towards you to talk. And again, they're coming towards you victorious. And look at that, guys. Right at the top of the reading, the start of the reading is victory. At the end of your reading is also victory. It's the same card, the six of wands, the six of wands. Them coming towards you, having a conversation is going to be victorious because they see you with those two reefs. They see you as marriage material. That victory is the victory of the sun, marriage, long-term commitment. I don't need to say no more. Um, guys, if you are connecting with a Cancerian, I strongly recommend that you look at the Cancerian reading. OK, um, yeah, because this feels like an extension of that. Let's get your advice. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your advice for Gemini? Sun, Moon, thank you. First message is. Look at that. Do not live in the past. Look forward to the future and rejoice in the journey ahead. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. It's time. Look, you guys will be assertive when you need to. There's no point in being upset and angry over what went down, even though this person, to be quite honest with you, feels like they were a, quite a muppet. Um, or Muppet, whether male or female, um, because I feel that they were just cruel for the sake of being cruel, um, you know, quite sharp with their tongue. Um, personally, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm fire, so I'm a fire sign personally. So I, I don't think I would like even entertain anybody speaking to me with the amount of swords that I'm seeing here on your side, uh, on their side, to be honest with you, Gemini. But that's just my personal opinion, which I need to always leave out, which sometimes is really difficult. Um, but uh, I feel that, that your spirit team is saying, look, trust them. Don't live in the past. Look forward, OK, uh, to the future, because there is a future with the two of you. And I feel that the two of you have have been married in past lives and it was very very victorious very very happy and very very abundant and that explains why there is so much love the love for you it's like they describe it is as deep as the ocean which is uh bottomless yeah it's bottomless it can go on it's like the love they have for you is throughout eternity and look at that, life never ends, spirit endures all. So spirit is around you all the time. Um, I feel that divine is letting you know that they will win. <laughs> divine spirit universe will win in the end. No matter what the trials and tribulations that you go through, uh, they're always around you. Trust them. I feel that, um, you know, this is part of your growth um, in this lifetime. 
it almost feels as if the two of you were too happy in past lives that you then kind of made a, a bit of a, a, a decision. You know what? Let, let's just change things up. But, uh, you know, that's just that's just me and my dry sense of humour. But, oh, look, finding a feather. Oh, my God, look at that. Finding a feather is a sign. Your guardian angels are by your side. Uh, Geminis, if you do look out for feathers, that's not a coincidence at all. Um, and I'll tell you why it's not a coincidence. One, I saw a feather in your channeled message. So obviously I associated it with me. Cha-ching, synchronicity number two. Um, because I associate when I see feathers, I, nor I normally know that my spirit team are around me, specifically somebody a specific person that's passed over i know that they are around me at that time um and three uh, the message is coming out for you so there are three s s dots that i'm connecting here as a reader okay that a feather is maybe quite significant to some of you all right anyway i'm going to leave that there and my apologies for my dry sense of humor as well um I do get really passionate when I do these readings. But look, I'm going to leave it there for you, Geminis. If it resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye-bye.